Okay, guys, three for three, and here's a three-minute little lecture on God and science. Uh, you may have noticed from one of my other videos that I was following a particular Christian web um, YouTuber, and all of a sudden I discovered she was a flat earther. Well, I have to unsubscribe from yet another Christian YouTuber because this person had a video up which allegedly is proof that the world is covered by a dome. Now, you can choose to believe that or not, but I don't understand why God and science are still at war. It's just like a remnant from the medieval days, like the Galileo days. What is the problem? I think the very fact that we find the world the world's more and more complex is awesome. Why why are people throwing away evidence and saying evolution is satanic? What would be the point? I don't know about you, but if I were, oh, of course I'm not. If I were a, a baker just learning my craft, and I'm not saying God couldn't have made people instantaneously if he chose not to. Maybe he just made an experiment to see what would happen if he put trilobites and water and see what happens. I mean, why did everything have to come in seven days, as Moses said? Remember, remember that God is outside of time and he can do whatever he wants to, whenever he wants to. So what is the problem? Why, why is evolution such a, such a no-no? I also see that Shadowlands is a the play is out. Now, Shadowlands is about uh, Lewis and, and his wife, Joy. If you know anything about that story, Lewis had a very bizarre relationship with a friend of someone, or the mother of a friend he had in, in like, grammar school or something. And he took care of this woman for, like, 30-something years. And then, like, he was close to 50, he, he met this divorced Jewish lady and and it, it's a really good story it's a love story and and then she was taken from him by cancer and he had to deal with it it's interesting that he wrote the problem of pain so many years before he had any any pain like this anyhow i would love to go see shadowlands i haven't even seen the movie yet and God and science. That's my take, that I don't see a conflict. And I'm going to go have some breakfast. Bye.